Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be talking about the C61D62 Air and Water Balancing Contractor License. Now an air and water balancing contractor installs any device and performs any work related to providing a specified flow of air in all types of existing heating and cooling systems and or related to providing a specified flow of water in water piping systems. And that definition is straight from the CSLB website and that's the Contractors State License Board. So essentially the D62 license is most related to the work that involves HVAC systems. So typically they come in and they offer HVAC balancing and testing systems to existing HVAC setups. They can offer environmental systems, um, duct leakage and testing and sealing, duct pressure tests. Often they'll do air and hydronic testing. They'll check smoke extraction and ventilation systems. HVAC commissioning services are also offered by D62 license holders. They'll often work with critica, critical area compliance in many cases. They'll, will, they'll come in and, and check hospital air conditioning systems. Th this license is most uh, associated with hospital accreditation standards. So oftentimes hospitals need to meet specific requirements for uh, air and water balancing and environmental uh, systems. So they would often offer those services. They often also work with food and storage restaurant and uh, helping them meet accreditation standards. Uh, and then they also offer sound and vibration testing services. So there's a variety of different areas that fall under the D62 license. Uh, for the full list, you can actually check out our website. So essentially, you must have the C61 D62 license in order to bid on any project related to air and water balancing that is over $500 in labor and materials. Now, how long does it take to get the contractor license in California? You're looking at an average time frame of about 90 days. You can expect sometimes a six to eight week application processing time, and then generally another three to four weeks before you go and take your exam. Now, that fluctuates, obviously, but on average, it comes out to about between a 60 and 90 day process. Now, the basic requirements for a California contractor license are that you're at least 18 years of age to apply. You've got to have a valid driver's license or USAID. You'll need a social security or ITIN number, and you can't currently be on probation or parole. Experience requirements are that you have at least four years full-time journey level experience within the last 10 years. You've got to have somebody that can sign off and verify that experience. And then you've got to be able to submit documentation just in case you're one of the applicants that the CSLB reviews. Now, who could sign off on that experience? You could use a general contractor. You could use a D62 license holder, or in some cases, a C20 HVAC license holder. You could use a foreman or supervisor at a company you've worked at, a fellow journeyman or employee, a business associate in some cases also. Now, criminal history. Everybody's got to do live scam fingerprinting when they apply for a California contractor license. Be honest on the application if you do have a criminal record. Typically, if it's not associated with fraud, forgery, or embezzlement, you should be okay, but you'll want to be ready to submit any court documents to the CSLB just in case. Now, what's on the exam? You only need to pass one test. It's going to be 115 questions covering all areas of contractor license law. It's a three-hour exam. It's multiple choice. It's going to be done on site on a computer. And if you do qualify, you can bring a translator the day of the exam. Now, the CSLB Law and Business Exam covers a variety of different areas. There's a portion covering business organization, business finances, employment requirements, bonds, insurance, and liens, contract requirements and execution, licensing requirements, safety, and also public works. Now, for complete study guides and accurate online practice tests with answers, you can actually check out the links in the description of this video. Now, after you pass your California contractor license exam, you'll get your results immediately. You can do a retake if you fail, typically within about two to three weeks. And once you pay your license activation and provide a contractor bond number, the CSLB will send you your contractor license in the mail, typically in about two to three weeks. Now, the costs associated with the California contractor license are you're going to pay a state application fee, you'll pay a license activation fee, and then a renewal fee every two years. You'll cover the cost of fingerprinting, and you'll also need to provide your contractor bond number. Now, for the most updated costs on how much it costs right now to get a California contractor license, you'll see a video appear at the end of this one, and I suggest you watch that video.
Just want to thank you for watching. This has been a short video on the D62 license. Uh, for any additional information on bonding, trade skills, and more, like and subscribe to our channel. Drop any questions that you have in the comments. But again, this is digitalconstructive.com, and thanks again for watching.